Uh, happening now, hundreds of people remain evacuated from their homes near Lake Isabella as the Shirley fire continues to burn in Curran County's mountains. Here's a look right now at what firefighters are up against. The fire started last Friday and is burning near Wofford Heights in Alta Sierra. More than 1,100 firefighters are battling the blaze, which has burned 2,000 acres since Friday. It is just 10% contained as of this morning. 23 ABC's Leslie Marine joins us live from Lake Isabella with the latest on the firefight and what this means for residents at this hour. Leslie? Well, Mike and Aaron, what may look like fog behind me is actually smoke. These firefighters are working around the clock to try to contain the Shirley fire here. Right now, we have Sean Collins here with us with the Kern County Fire Department. I know you guys have been using a lot of techniques to try to contain this fire, one being nighttime water drops, which are extremely dangerous but effective. Yes, that's exactly correct there. I mean, very, very effective. The fire has been ver burning very hot over the last few nights, so uh, it's not new to us. We've been doing nighttime water drops for a long time. We held a big exercise last week to practice that in coordination with other agencies, and we've used it to fantastic effect here. It is very, very dangerous because obviously it's dark and pilots rely on uh, radio communication, talking to each other, using their night vision goggles uh, to be aware of high trees, Buildings, the the uh, the mountain tops as well as as also um, power lines. So there's a lot of work that goes into training, and it's very dangerous. But the payoff is uh, innumerable. I mean, protecting those homes, protecting those structures. Uh, one of our firefighters actually took some video, which we posted on Facebook for people to look at, and uh, we just put that on YouTube as well. Yeah, definitely. And I know there's hundreds of homes still evacuated. Um, can you just tell me how much danger these homes are in? Really? It's not too bad right now, but the threat is still there. Um, fire is not in those communities, which is a good thing due to the hard work of all firefighters here on this fire. Perfect. Thank you so much, Sean. There will be a community meeting tonight for the people in this area up in Wofford Heights. We will continue to keep you updated on the situation right here. Back to you guys. All right, Leslie, thank you. And stay with 23 ABC for up to the second updates about the Shirley fire. We'll have the very latest conditions and evacuations, of course, on our news at 5 and 6 tonight. You can also download the free 23 ABC mobile and tablet app if you'd like to stay informed, as we said, up to the second about this growing wildfire.